An obese man in Maryland went on a murder spree in the 1990s after his wife took his son and left him. Joseph Metheny was convicted of killing two young women, Kathy Spicer and Kathy Ann Magaziner, and burying their bodies in a shallow grave on the property of a pallet company he worked for and lived at. However, that's far from the worst part. Joe was originally charged with five killings, two homeless men in a makeshift camp, and three young women who were addicted to drugs. Due to a lack of evidence, the charges were dropped for all cases but Spicer and Magaziner, who he allegedly met in a bar and later brought back to his trailer to rape and murder. Later on, he confessed to killing the three others, plus at least five more young women. Joe was given two life sentences for the slayings, though he was originally given the death sentence in 1998, which is what he wanted. He said, the words, I'm sorry, will never come out. For they would be a lie. I am more than willing to give up my life for what I have done, to have God judge me and send me to hell for eternity. Though not proven in court, Joe claims that there was another gruesome aspect to his crimes. He says that he chopped up the other victims and sold their meat from a roadside barbecue stand. In a jailhouse confession, he wrote, I cut up the meat and put it in some Tupperware bowls, then put it in the freezer. I opened up a little pit beef stand I had real roast beef and pork sandwiches. They were very good. The human body tastes very similar to pork. If you mix it together, no one can tell the difference. So the next time you're riding down the road and you happen to see an open pit beef stand that you haven't seen before, make sure you think about this story before you take a bite of that sandwich. Sometimes you never know who you may be eating. Joe apparently asked a friend to help him dispose of the bodies and the man later went to police. The police found traces of blood in his trailer and then Spicer's body. He led them to Magaziner's body three days later. Joe spent 20 years in Western Correctional Institution in Cumberland, where he had his own jail cell. On August 5, 2017, he was found dead in his cell. According to the Department of Public Safety and Correctional Services, police said they were investigating how he died, but the results were never made public.